Hi, I'm Grand Instructor Ben Barn, serving with the Most Worshipful Union Grand Lodge of Florida, Belize, Central America, and Jurisdiction, Prince Hall Affiliated, PHA, where the Honorable Jeffrey G. Jones serves as our 19th Most Worshipful Grand Master. There are many views in existence about Freemasonry and what Freemasonry is and what Freemasonry isn't. Conspiracy theorists have written books and posted videos on the internet of elaborate falsehoods and conjectures that cast a dark shadow on what we, as true Freemasons, are proud to be associated with. There are those who believe that Freemasonry is a secret society with designs on taking over the world. There are those who want to call Freemasonry a cult. There are those who accuse Freemasons of practicing black magic and sorcery. There are those who believe that Freemasons have access to, to secrets that influence the uh, you know, secrets over the, 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 the outcome of world events. These poisonous misrepresentations have put a wall of reticence at times between our friends and relatives who might have become Masons. What then can we do to attract a good brother to the oldest and largest fraternity in the world? In truth, there need not be any secret with regard to the basic principles of Freemasonry. The three great principles, the tenets, uh, which are the cornerstone of Freemasonry, uh, of Freemasons, is, are the tenets of brotherly love, relief, and truth. Let's take brotherly love. Okay, do we need to hide the fact that we, we need to work together for the overall improvement of society. So every true Freemason will show tolerance and respect for the opinions of others and behave with kindness and understanding. This is brotherly love, relief. Freemasons are taught to practice charity and to care, not only for family and friends, but also for the community as a whole both by charitable giving and by voluntary efforts, community service, you know, work, you know, as individuals, you know, as groups and as, as, as individuals. Uh, relief, truth. Uh, Freemasons live and strive for truth, requiring high moral standards and aiming to achieve them in their own lives. Right, that's what that's that's one of our goals is truth. So, brotherly really love, relief, and truth. Freemasonry limits its membership to men of good character and encourages them to live their lives to the highest standards of morality. A Freemason's education includes biblical teaching and lessons in the history of Freemasonry, as well as encouragement to live for the good of all mankind and ideas are, are, are for practicing good citizenship and, and acting with charity and, and love, you know, are, are all shared behind the walls of the lodge. Uh, Freemasons share a commitment to supporting each other in friendship, fellowship, and service to mankind. Becoming a Freemasonry must be of a man's own free and accord. It's, it's a free will choice. To be one, ask one is a catchphrase displayed on bumper stickers, t-shirts, uh, hats, you know, alongside the Masonic symbol of a, of a master mason by Freemasons with a particular interest in procuring petitions for new members. You know, each brother uh, has 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 his own reasons for for wanting to join. Uh, one of the among the basic requirements to become a Freemason are that you must be a man of good report and with a sound mind and body. Why you join is going to be entirely up to you. Uh, the reason why brothers who are master masons now. Uh, who locked, knocked on the door, they followed through with their decision to become a Master Mason, to become a Freemason. Uh, they, they did everything that was asked of them, that was required uh, to become a member of our fraternity. Um, that's that's each, each man's you know, own journey. Uh, 
Well, I was seeking to join this oldest and largest fraternity in the world. I was told that whatever I was seeking internally to better myself, I would find in Freemasonry. With that being said, the biggest attraction to Freemasonry for me personally is the strong moral code. The motto that Masons take a good man and make him a better man is a like-minded approach to how I have always lived my life. Self-improvement to better serve God and to be an asset to humankind. Do you believe that there is such a thing as honor and that a man has a responsibility to act with honor in everything he does? Do you believe in God? Are you willing to allow others the same right to their own beliefs that you insist on yourself? Are you willing to allow others to believe that it is not only more blessed to give than to receive, but that it's also more fun? Do you believe that you have a responsibility to leave the world a better place than you found it? Are you willing to give help to your brothers when they need it and to accept help when you need it? Do you feel that there is something more to life than financial success? Do you believe that a person should strive to be a good citizen and that we have a moral duty to be true to the country in which we live? Do you agree that a man should show compassion for others? That goodness of heart is among the most important of human values? Do you believe that man should strive to live a brotherly life? This is who we are. This is what we do. Prince Hall Affiliated Mason. P-H-A. Becoming a Mason changed my life in many ways, for the better. It's made me a better man because Masons become better through the education and the shared knowledge and wisdom and experiences of, of, of brother Masons who will take time and share uh, their life experiences. Uh, all the, all the, the, the increase of knowledge is necessary to become a better man. When we know better, we should do better. It's an ultimate climb to become better. It's a climb. Are you ready? Are you ready to make the ultimate climb? Thank you for listening. And for your interest in becoming a Freemason.